Our next guest says the market prices should the sooner the market prices in a recession, the better off we will be. Joining us right now is Gabriela Santos. She is global market strategist at JP Morgan Asset Management. And this is a really interesting time, Gabriela. We have a lot of people who are concerned about a recession, a lot of worries about that. It seems like everybody's pricing in a recession. But you're somewhat positive, somewhat negative. Let's try and wade <laughs> through this and, and explain to people. We've come down a long way. Yeah. That is a good factor in itself. I think it depends on your time horizon. So when we do our yearly outlook for the next 10, 15 years, the starting point today is so much better than where we were 11 months ago, right? Rates are higher, valuations are back to at least equilibrium levels in the U.S. So you're talking about the best entry point for both bonds and stocks since 2010. So in 11 months, we've upgraded our annualized return expectations by nearly 300 basis points. That's amazing. Just from the starting point. So you're talking about institutional clients, retail clients being much better able to meet their return needs. But when you're thinking more tactically, when you're thinking about the next 12 months and thinking about the dials and overweighting risk, underweighting risk, there we think it's still the time to be underweight risk because we've talked a lot about recession, but we don't see that priced in. I think there's still a hope of a soft landing. And so we can have a rough start to the year. So we would still be underweight equities as well as high yield credit. You know, there are so many people who are saying, hey, maybe we're already in a recession. Then you hear somebody like City, uh, Jane Frazier from City, who's saying, oh, it'll happen, but not till the second half of next year. I mean, this is like waiting and waiting and waiting for a recession. And maybe we're talking ourselves into it in the meantime. And I think it, this is, we can't agree on where we are at the moment, right? Are we slowing down? Are we picking up? Are we in recession? Are we not? Never mind about where we'll be 12 months from now. And that's why there's so little macro conviction that you see um, stocks especially, but currencies, commodities get whacked around day to day, week to week, depending on any little data point that either confirms or denies the, the recession or the soft landing narrative. Ultimately, we think we are slowing down. But the economy has been actually remarkably resilient. So when we talk about elevated recession odds, we're thinking about the dominoes falling much more middle to the second half of next year. And then for the beginning of the year to be the process of actually pricing in those dominoes falling later on. So you see us going lower in the next several months? Especially in the beginning of the year. I think in January, February, it'll be a good opportunity to hear from companies what they saw in their fourth quarter earnings, to get a little bit more realistic about what's happening with demand, what's happening with cost pressures, to get analysts to actually revise down earnings expectations to something that's more reasonable. Even factoring in a mild recession would take you to earnings expectations below 220 for next year, which we're not there quite yet. And then the second point is on high yield. How are, how are spreads at 460 basis points? Right. Normally in a recession, you would see them get to 800 basis points plus.